The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Subject of the day with Grigor Amirzayan, citizens of Abvigan, Raymond Berberian. The USA continues to believe in the possibility of sustainable peace between Yerevan and Baku, Patel. Another earthquake in the south of Western Armenia. Russian peacekeepers did not allow the search team to enter Shoshi. The displaced Armenians from Artsakh should be given a safe and dignified return. Miatovich, the oldest plague carrier, lived in Armenia. Grigor Amirzayan, a deputy of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, informed in his microblog that Baku challenges the architecture of the Armenian Church of St. Hovanes in occupied Artsakh. Azerbaijan continues to renovate the Armenian Church of St. Hovanes Makartich in occupied Artsakh. This Armenian church, built at the beginning of the 19th century, has been uh, restored and improved several times over time. Until 2020, during the 44-day war, the St. Hovannes Mogartish Church was one of the favorite places for Artsakh residents, as well as visitors of Artsakh. You can watch Grigor Amirzanyan's analysis on the topic of Western Armenia's TV on YouTube page. If our community acted calmly and thoughtfully, it could change history. As people, we Armenians have many, many hereditary advantages. I wonder what would happen if the Turkish government officially recognized the genocide committed against the ancient Armenian people and apologized to humanity on its knees for the worst crime of the recent times, as behaved the ordinary city to compensate the descendants of the survivors. Poet of the stolen motherland, Raymond Berberian. The United States of America continues to hope that peace between Yerevan and Baku is possible. Vedant Patel, the deputy press speaker of the U.S. State Department, announced this during the briefing. We hope that sustainable peace between Yerevan and Baku is possible. The Ministry of State will continue to work in that direction, said Patel. He added that the U.S. Secretary of State's advisor on Kokoiza negotiations, Louis Bono, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and others, continue to be deeply involved in this matter. The Department of Emergency Situations reported that on January 11, an earthquake occurred in the province of Hatay, located in the southern part of Western Armenia. In particular, it is noted that the intensity of the earthquake in the Samandag region, the epicenter of the earthquake, was for magnitude. There were no reports of damage. Russian peacekeepers did not allow the research group to enter Shoshi. In a conversation with the Media Hub, the head of the Shoshi community of Artsakh, Eric Abrahamian, told details on September 19 attack from Baku and then evacuation of the population of the village. We present a part of the incident. He started to participate in the search operations with the risks. The Russian peacekeepers, knowing that there are elderly survivors in the village, yet did not allow the search team to enter Shoshi for several days, said Eric Abrahamian. The authorities of Baku and Yerevan should focus on the protection of human rights in the peace negotiation process and establish strict guarantees for the protection of human rights for everyone injured by the conflict. This was announced by the Commissioner for the Human Rights of the Council of Europe, Dunya Miatovic, publishing in his observation on the results of his visit to Armenia and Azerbaijan, including Artsakh, on October 16, 2023. The report states that it was the first time in recent decades that the human rights mission of this nature was able to visit Artsakh. It is noted that the reason for the visit was the massive deportation of more than 100,000 Armenians from Artsakh in just a few days at the end of September. In Armenia, the commissioner talked with the Armenians from Artsakh who left Artsakh and were in shelter provided by the authorities. After the departure of the population from Stepanagert, the commissioner were witness of empty streets, abandoned areas, and the almost complete absence of the presence of civilians. Based on what he heard and saw in Artsakh, the commissioner concluded that at the end of September 2023, the Armenians of Artsakh left their homes without any reliable guarantees of safety or protection from any side, and they had to leave their homes as it was the only available and reasonable option for them, the report states. Welcoming the efforts of uh, the Armenian authorities to provide first aid to the needy people from the Karabakh region, the commissioner emphasized that an immediate support is necessary to be executed for Armenians of Artsakh who fled to Armenia, and in particular for vulnerable groups in the short, medium and long term. The commissioner expressed hope that all internally displaced persons who wish will be able to return as soon as possible in safety and dignity. 
In general, the commissioner underlined that all persons displaced by the protracted conflict have the right to return voluntarily to their homes or places of residence with safety and dignity. The violation of international humanitarian law and serious human rights violations in connection with the conflict must be effectively and promptly investigated be and be punished if found guilt after a fair. The exhibitions car carried out in Armenia allowed to obtain new data, data about occurrence and spread of the plague. Studying the teeth of 101 people who lived in the bronze and iron age, scientists found traces of the plague in seven of them. The youngest plague carrier was a man who lived in the early Iron Age period. Based on the discovery, the scientists concluded that the modern plague was formed at the turn of the second and the first millennia in the Middle East, from where it spread to Eurasia. This was all for today. Goodbye.